Mr. Chairman. Um, when Chairman Brady was advancing the PATH Act last Congress, a bill that I supported, um, he said, quote, as we all know too well, how our country manages its tax code makes absolutely no sense. How can families and local businesses count on tax relief each year as long as Congress can't decide what's permanent and what's not? Um, he also said, Americans will no longer have to worry each December if Congress will take action to extend certain tax relief measures that they have come to rely on, end quote. Now here we are, just about two years after that bipartisan legislation passed um, with, with the chairman's praises for delivering certainty to families, staring down, we're now staring down at a partisan bill with provisions that will expire, leaving working families with a tax increase, their piece of the bill for massive corporate tax cuts. Meanwhile, we're doing nothing at all to address things like the Cadillac tax, the permanent repeal of which has been a bipartisan goal for at least as long as I've been in Congress. Um, the original design of the Cadillac tax was intended to be narrowly targeted, uh, a narrowly targeted tax on the most, quote, extravagant plans. Instead, the tax will hit working families because of a variety of factors beyond their control, like age, geography, or occupation. That's why my amendment will once and for all repeal the tax that both Republicans and Democrats have agreed on and give fa American families some certainty so that they can plan. This tax on hardworking Americans' health care plans disproportionately impacts people like the brave first responders who have been battling wildfires out west and delivering life-saving aid to people who have been impacted by the recent hurricanes. The Cadillac tax would also hit family plans two times as harshly as individual plans. Yet we've learned over time that families' costs are often much more than two times those of individuals. By leaving this tax in place, we are conceding to allowing children and families to carry an outside share of the tax burden, and that's exactly the kind of unfairness that comprehensive tax reform should be about, and we should be fixing these things in the code. And yet, maybe I shouldn't be surprised, as countless economists and tax experts have said since this legislation was released, this bill isn't tax reform, it's tax cuts for the very top. This amendment is an opportunity to help our children, firefighters, seniors, and working families, an opportunity to ensure 200,000 more Americans, according to estimates by CBO and JCT, that they would 200,000 more would have insurance. So many of us agree on the need for this reform. I urge my colleagues to vote yes to protecting working families from yet another tax increase on top of those they'll already be facing under this bill. I yield back. Gentlelady yields back. Mr. Kelly on the